Hello, and welcome to Nadine's Kitchen. I'm Kaylee Proctor, the Oncology Dietitian at Leonard Cancer Institute. I'm so excited to have you here today to kick off our cooking series on staple kitchen ingredients and tools to make healthy eating more enjoyable. Today, we will have Chef Jonathan with us here to help us learn how to use some of these staple ingredients and tools to make healthy eating easier. Today's objectives for this episode are to learn how to incorporate staple kitchen tools and ingredients to make healthy eating easier for you and your family, to identify foods that help cancer patients undergoing treatment to maintain their weight and manage common side effects. This will include high calorie foods and high protein foods. Also, we will discuss the difference between fresh versus frozen produce. Hey guys, I'm Chef Jonathan here at Providence Mission Hospital. Today we're in Nadine's Kitchen. Kaylee and I are going to be talking about some staple ingredients and some fun, easy kitchen tools and gadgets that will uh, make your life a little bit easier in the kitchen. So over here we've got you know, some of my favorite things. Um, obviously, nice measuring cups. That's going to be important uh, for portioning. Um, we've got some measuring spoons, um, other measuring cups. Um, I always love those mixing bowls. You want to hand me those? Sure. See, these are great because you can pull them out and have all your ingredients all lined out stainless steel, easy to clean, easy to keep sanitized. So some of the other fun things, uh, pastry brushes, um, we've got some graters, obviously peelers, you want a pair of kitchen shears to have in your kitchen. Um, all those things will make it nice and easy. Um, I always love fresh pepper, so fresh ground pepper, nice pepper mill. Um, and one of, I think, our favorite things is the Dutch oven or pressure cooker and maybe you want to explain some of the benefits of some of that? Definitely. So pressure cookers, blenders, food processors, crock pots are all really great way for cancer patients to batch cook meals. That way you can cook them, store them, freeze them for when you're too tired to cook and it really infuses a lot of flavor. So if your taste buds ever dull while on treatment, the crock pot, the Dutch oven, food processors are the way to go. Absolutely. Very well said. So some of the other ingredients that I love to have in the kitchen are um, going to be some staple things. We obviously love to have our grains, our pastas, um, a nice variety of spices um, that can kind of enhance some of the things that we're cooking. Um, I always love a nice olive oil and some nice vinegars to kind of um, go along with everything that we do. And then obviously some fresh uh, fruit and vegetables. Um, and another thing that we like to have in the freezer, we all, we're going to have some frozen vegetables and some of the benefits of having that um, would be so I get this question a lot, is fresh frozen, frozen, is frozen better, is fresh better? Frozen can actually be more nutritious, so it is good to stock your fr freezer up with frozen items just because they're often flash frozen at the peak of harvest, so it maintains their um, nutrition value compared to buying fresh, which has to travel long distances and it loses a lot of the nutrition content. Plus, I'd imagine it's more convenient, oh, um, especially if you're recovering that you've got some, mm -hmm. um, some standard ingredients in the freezer that you can just reach out and use um, very, very successfully. So, so I think that covers um, some basic ideas that we've wanted to share with you in terms of some staple ingredients and some easy tools that uh, will make your life better and much more efficient in the kitchen. So next thing, I want to go ahead and start making this smoothie. Chocolate, peanut butter, what could be better? Get my nice blender. Um, I'm going to use, can you hand me that measuring cup, please? Sure. Okay. So we've got some almond milk that we're going to use today in our recipe. So I'm going to add that almond milk in. You know, these nice green bananas are great. And I tell you, for smoothies, let's use something a little bit more ripe. Okay. Peel that, and we'll put that in. Uh, this recipe calls for um, a spoon of uh, the chocolate protein powder. And the oh. protein powder is going to be important to compensate for the protein that's not in the plant-based milks. Protein is also important for patients on treatment as it helps them preserve their lean body mass, so you just won't feel as tired doing your day-to-day -day activities while recovering from treatment. Excellent. Add in some peanut butter. That should be good. 
And I'm going to take this over to the blender. We'll give it a little blend. Go ahead and get that off. And we'll bring that over. Would you hand me a glass or two, please? Of course. And we'll go ahead and fill those up. Looking pretty good. All right, so chocolate peanut butter smoothie. And what I like to do is uh, I like to garnish this with um, a little bit of fresh fruit. This is kind of something uh, cute that we can always add. And I'll take strawberry. Maybe trim it up. I'm going to take a mango. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And a little trick on the mango slice on the seed side, on the side of the seed. And then I pull it back and I will just lightly trim this skin off like so. So. We've got a couple of nice chunks of mango, our strawberry, and then one little fun thing. Let's add a nice kiwi. A little trick on peeling kiwis also is to trim off both of the edge, both of the ends like so. And then what I do is t I'll take a spoon and just kind of slide this up underneath the skin like so, and then roll that around and then you come up with a nice clean kiwi and very little waste. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and cut that into a couple pieces. And you want to make our little skewer? Sure. I'll teach you here. Yes, Let's please. go one. You can do it together. Okay, teamwork. Teamwork there. <laughs> so I'm going to go strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, and pick that up. And then we'll use the mango. And then maybe the kiwi at the end. Kiwi at the end. Right. And then we can just set that right up on top. Kind of tuck it all in there. Beautiful. Make it all nice and pretty. Great. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's uh, demonstration. Chocolate peanut butter smoothie. Um, Want to give it a taste? Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. <laughs> I'll get a little... Uh, fresh fruit. Mm. I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> there you go. There are a few modifications that you can use in these smoothie recipes depending on what you're experiencing while on treatment. For patients who need more protein, feel free to add Greek yogurt or cottage cheese. The protein smoothie already has peanut butter, which is what we call a high calorie food to help you maintain your weight. But patients who are still struggling to maintain their weight and losing weight on treatment, a lot of times adding a spoonful of olive oil can help boost up your nutrition. For more information for oncology and nutrition, please check out the American Cancer Institute, the American Cancer Society, and cancer.gov. For more information about Mission Hospitals, Leonard Cancer Institute, the services provided, oncology nutrition, and future episodes, please visit leonardcancerinstitute.com or contact me, Kaylee Proctor, your oncology dietitian.